Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you and present you a couple of mini gadgets made with the microchip like this one in epoxy resin. Clear skeleton circuit. Looking nice. Let's start. Here in my hand I'm holding uh, one, two, three, seven microchips 8085. I bought them from eBay. Every mini project including microcontroller starts with the chip like this small guy. So for the first uh, mini gadget I'm using a SMD 80Tiny85 and on the chip I'm soldering tiny solid copper wires stretching out and that will look like a spider. I'm gonna add a very small LED, also a resistor for the LED and 8 pins. After a couple of hours curing the epoxy resin with my ultraviolet LED light. Here it is the result. Take a look at this epoxy resin beauty art. Ok, to explain, I have 8 pins of course as the microchip and through these pins I can program the chip and with my USB ESP programmer and I'm gonna show you very simple code for double blink for the LED. Let's test it. I'm gonna power up with 5 volts and voila! Working! Double LED blinking. Just to kill the light. Looking good. And in next seconds I will show you that this mini gadget with the microchip is waterproof because it's made out of epoxy resin. Alright. So to explain, it's a, like a development board in epoxy resin, waterproof and you can program it when you want it and use it. Alright, my next mini gadget and this one is an old project but need to be mentioned in this video. Ok, this guy is a PCB board, printed sucker board with all details, LEDs, switch, I have here a programmable pin and it's good, let's try it. Ok, here I have a connector for programming and it's also for powering on the PCB board that look like a Lego, which is nice. I have a full video how to make it, how to design it, just check the link below this video. Powering on. And look, it's working, it's blinking. Nice. Before showing my next mini gadget with the microchip, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ok. What is this? It's similar to the first one. Yep, it's a skeleton version and this is my first version of development board with these soldering pins. Here I can experiment with my ideas. I have a programmable connector. Here it is the microchip glue it with the with super glue I think on a transparent plastic piece. 
and this is my older oldest version of programmable development board just wanted to share this and this is the first version take a look at this there is a difference okay I have all versions of uh, development boards with the microchip 80 tiny 85 but take a look at this it's so tiny and small without battery okay. take a look at this guy it's 8 pin socket on that I have fixed the 80 tiny 85 microchip with tiny wires going to the LEDs these are five LEDs for each pin out of the 80 tiny 85 microchip I have a resistor for the LEDs and look it's working or not little mistake there was no code in the microchip so I upload a new code I let it chaser and it's working take a look there are five LEDs in random LED chase here it is the microchip and look like a tiny programmable board and it's easy to program just plug in and this is my latest DIY homemade that look like a junk gadget but it's working here on this one I have a lithium a small lithium battery with capacity of 100 milliampers I have a switch for powering on and off the power and also a 80 tiny 85 microchip with pin header for programming programming like this All right. and after uploading the code you can use it because it's portable and it have a power source this one is as I said at my latest DIY project and it's hello world project with small OLED screen 64 by 32 pixels I also have a full video how to make this and how to experiment just check the links below this video okay I show all today mini gadgets with the microchip and this is the best because it's the latest and it's made in epoxy resin and looking very nice thank you for watching see you in the next video